Hey guys, Mercury here, and today we're going to do something a little different. I've never played one of these type of games before. As you can see, it's, um, you need to be 18 years or older. This is going to be the first content I've put on my channel that I'm potentially going to mark as, uh, as adult rated. So anyway, we're playing Coming Out on Top. This is, this is a gay dating sim from for what I know it is the only gay dating sim that there is out there so I'm kind of excited to try this I've never played a dating sim before but that's because I've never had one for me and God knows I could use the help this is by um, these people obscure soft this is who I bought it from so there's the credits <laughs> Let's uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, options. Let's see. Display. We're doing windowed. I tried full screen, but full screen has some issues. So, oh. hair and beards. All right. Main character. Beard. Yes. I don't. I don't know who these people are. I don't know if I want them to have beards or not. Let's uh, let's just mix it up. We'll do uh, Brad and Jed. Ooh, body hair main character yes um and then uh we'll give phil and and jed some body hair all right all right that should be good what else do we got extra as a phone i could call what can i call these people all right who's this cutie Who's this little this guy? He looks a little more my age. Alright, let's call... Let's just call the lips guy. 20-something Brit seeking mates, dates, and broaden horizons. Interests by books, films, TV, comics, and video games. So I'm guessing these are donators to the Kickstarter. How do we go back? Oh, probably the back button. Bro Finder! Alright, what's the... Is this one? Bay Finder. Uh, nope. All right. Um. Oh, Scott, some tissues. That's a little. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's start. Let's start. Oh, I have facial hair now. Okay. Oh, okay. So these must be the other guys that I gave facial hairs to. All right. Ooh, this guy. Okay. Let's just start. Let's go. Here we go. I need instructions. Jump to the game. I need instructions. I don't know what's happening. To progress through the game, click the mouse or space bar to continue. Okay. Want to undo a choice or go back in time? Use page up or scroll up with your mouse. You can only go back so far. All right. You can also change text speed and lots of other stuff, like beers from the options menu found in the lower right-hand corner. Got it. Click on the help in the lower right-hand corner for a list of commands. Okay. Uh, hi, Mark Matthews. Orland University. Oh, man. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I have, like, reading comprehension issues, so I apologize. So is this me? Or this must be me. Hi, I'm I'm Mark Matthews. Or would you rather be called someone else? No, we'll be we'll be Mark. Um I don't like the name Mark. Mark reminds me of the neighborhood kid who used to fling cat poop at me. <laughs> no, we're fine with Mark. Mark, you are a senior at Orland University. Uh it's been quite a ride. You feel like you've been missing out. In fact, you feel like you faked your way through the last three and a half years of your life. Oh, man. You don't want to go through the motions anymore. You want to stop pretending. Now, if your palms would just stop sweating. They can't. I have a problem. Okay, Mark. You lecture yourself. You're not a kid anymore. Your last semester of college starts tomorrow. Wait, I don't know if that's Mark's voice. Whatever. We'll figure out the voices as we go. This is going to be a train wreck if you ever saw one. You gave yourself a deadline, and you're sticking to it, damn it. Everything's going to be just fine. Remember what happens. Try not to throw up. No promises. No promises, self. At least not on the carpet. Where else are you going to put it? It's a shag. A horror to clean. If you guys don't know what a shag carpet is, it is a horror to clean. <laughs> You call your roommates, Penny and Ian, into the living room. Oh god, what's her voice? 
I can't. I can't think of what her voice is gonna be. So what's the big news, Mark? <laughs> oh God. <sighs> well, this guy looks like a douchebag. <laughs> you gonna tell me what a fantastic roommate I am and how you like to take over my dish duties this week? Um. Well, er, get a grip. You can do this. You could do this, Mark. Uh, so you guys just aren't just my roommates, but my best friends of all time. We've shared everything together. Hopes, fears, dreams, playlist. Ba -bum -bum Toothbrushes, girl. <laughs> It was an accident, I swear. You say that almost every morning, Ian. Uh, guys, this is a me moment. Can you focus? Sorry. Go on, Mark. I'll read you out of the English. You've got something important to say. What's up, dude? You look nervous, dude. I read this. See, reading comprehension. Just y'all. Their stares penetrate you. Like you've always wanted been penetrated. You clear your throat. Sweat beads across your forehead. Given you're my most loyal, trustworthy friends, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. High five! Uh, just a reminder if you use the last <laughs> toilet paper for your response. No, we're going to be like soups peps. I'm gay. High five! Um... Is this some kind of solidarity thing? Wait, I don't remember what her voice is. Already. Like when somebody says we're all one race, the human race? Really confused. Okay, I'm gay too. High five. Bro? Brosef? Guys. I'm serious. I stick my dick in people's butts. Oh. Oh man, the camera shaked. Um, guys? Oh my gosh, they're reacting so poorly to this. I've just let you on in the biggest announcement of my life. How about a little reassurance? I'm sweating bullets up here. Didn't you see my fucking face in the corner? Wow! Wow, 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 wow! <laughs> Mark! This is major! It's like the biggest! This is bigger than, like, global warming! Wow! Now, I know you've been ignoring all those girls busting down your bedroom door. Oh, my God! Oh, wait. Wrong guy. Oh, my God, Penny. Just because Mark don't won't date your weirdo cousin. I don't know if he's just getting retarded her. I don't know. Okay. My cousin is not a weirdo. She's just fucking different. She carries around her own spork and won't eat without it. That's seven leagues deep into weirdo territory. It's like soup's deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's quirky and cute. Oh, brother. Anyway, I have to do... Oh, God, I thought you were... Uh, I do have another cousin that you might be interested in, Mark, named Filbert of the male persuasion. Jeez, Penny, quit pawning off your freaky family onto him. Look, I'm just freaking excited, okay? I've always wanted a gay friend. Mark, I'm really happy you told us. Good for you. We can talk about my cousin later. I'm gonna text him right now. I'm gonna walk off the screen and just text him. Do you have anything to say to me, Ian? I'm gonna fluctuate on everybody's voices forever. Get used to it. Well... Matthews, I, for one, am disappointed. I was really hoping you were going to announce you'd be doing the dishes. So I'm so freaking lazy. But about being gay, seriously, good for you, man. I feel privileged you shared with the, with this us with us. It took a lot of guts. Talking's hard. So, what's it like to finally be out, dude? It's good. It's good, bro. No. It's better than good. It feels great. High five! Pachoo! It's like, well, my life can finally get started, you know? I do know, Mark. I've been there. 
It's hard to explain, but I feel like my life's been somebody else's. A few tears begin to cloud your vision, but you quickly blink them back. Don't cry. Don't throw up. Aww. We're so happy for you, Mark. Penny and Ian wrap you in a hug. This went better than you thought it would. The weight of your long the weight of your long kept secret falls from your shoulders, and you feel a lightness. You want to laugh and weep. You're so confused. But mostly you feel a beautiful sense of relief. Things really couldn't have gone better. They could have. Ian didn't take off his shirt. Mark, we should com commemorate your big day. Hang on a sec. Selfies! What? What was that for? I'm taking a photo of you for my tanning spray app. It's my latest project. It takes your photo and gives you totally awesome tan. See? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, once I get all the bugs out, I'm going to sell a million units. You got to help me beta test this. Penny, I didn't think it was possible, but you might have surpassed <laughs> your last app in idiocy. <laughs> what happened to that last project of yours? Campus Mapper, was it? Wasn't it supposed to help students find their classes, but for some reason people kept walking into traffic? Yeah, a couple of pesky bugs! <laughs> Nothing major! I remember you were testing it the day we met. I'm sorry, this... This is good. I like this so far. <laughs> if you hadn't yelled, watch out, I would have stepped right into an open drain. I'm such a dance. And landed on the buddies of your beta testers. <laughs> Show your pile, Ian. Campus member is still in alpha, and I'm going to be a millionaire once tanning spray is released. I'm a genius. And will you be the guy who cleans the monkey cage at the zoo? Look here, ignoramus. Being a zoologist means more than just cleaning cages. Right? I also get to... Uh, um... Yeah, no, I get to clean poop. It's super school. God damn it. Okay, here's the plan, Mark. Time to celebrate. Let's head to Charlie's. Um, Charlie's? It's the only gay bar in this area. It's kind of a homophobic place. Sorry, I'm drinking water because doing her voice is killing my throat. Jesus, Penny, you do realize he's been out like a couple seconds. I totally biffed that. I biffed that whole line, y'all. Seconds! Just like, time, but not a lot. Oh, relax. It'll be fun. Besides, there's something I gotta check out there. Ian, why don't you join us? Nah, I gotta head over to Zoe's. Her again? If I had the camera on, you guys would see the best. Like, I am animating these characters in real life. I can never tell when you two are together. How many times have you broken up now? Yeah, well, we're about to have the talk. Here's hoping she dumps me before I have to help her move into her new place. Ugh. Stupid horror. You know, Ian, call me crazy, but you can always be an adult and break it off first. What? No, people would totally think I was dumping her just to avoid helping her move. <laughs> what was I thinking? Me and my wacky suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, sorry to bail, man, but we're so hanging out next week. Tonight, you have fun with little Miss Zuckerberg here. Goodbye, Ian. <laughs> so, ready for a little outing? <laughs> I slay me. I knew it. I like her. <laughs> I'll be the designated driver. Just a relaxing evening at a new bar. No pressure. It'll be soups fun. Frankly, do you want to celebrate tonight? But it all seems so sudden. Are you ready for your first gay bar? Come on, Mark. It's not like we even got homework yet. What else are you going to do? Kick it with your goldfish? He's got a name, Penny. Name your fish. Slurpee? No. You guys, we're naming it Pleasures. You know why. Pleasures? I don't, like, really? 
Like, doesn't that seem on the nose for this game? No, I've had this name for years. Don't, don't question it. Well, I'm sure pleasures will be okay for one night. Shall we go? <laughs> All right, you drive. Yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna be as slutty as gosh darn possible. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome! <laughs> oh man, this is zooping through town. I got, I don't know what Mark's voice is. So, are you stunned by my admission? Yes, and you no. Know. You've had your suspicions about me? You talk in your sleep. Exactly, what have you heard? What aren't you telling me, woman? You seem to have a thing for shapely butts, but it's only now I realize it's not the female derriere that you were, uh, you know. You know what, we're just gonna stop talking about this now, you know? So, apparently we had to blink for some odd reason. So I've got like a question. You have a question. Virgin? Yes? Or no? Who? You know, I have dated a couple of girls. Come on, you know what I mean. The D, the Wang, the main vein, the beefy vein, the, the Steven C with the roadway. The <laughs> I might have done a thing or two. I don't know Mark's voice. Wait, oh my god! Let me guess! It was a guy from your water polo team, right? Oh my god, he was on water polo? I would have been erect all the time. Locker room, post game, you're the showers with your teammates! He's soaping himself, but he's struggling because his arm is in a slink. In a slink? Hell, no wonder we had such a bad season. So he says, Yo, what up, Matthews? Can't reach the spot, bro. You've been reading those weird stories written by teenage girls again, haven't you? And you say, Which spot, bro? How romantic. And he goes, This spot right here, man. Need my balls. <laughs> I love whoever wrote this. This has been the best. Oh. After making a few <laughs> turns on the way onto one-way streets, Penny parks the car a block away from Charlie's. Taking a deep breath, you enter the dimly lit bar. Oh my gosh, I love the ambience! So Mark, what are you drinking? Let me get you something! Oh, we'll ski straight up because I'm going to need it. Beer, dark, bitter like my soul. Classic Cabernet for once, not out of a box. <laughs> Midi Midori sour. I don't drink. I don't. I don't know what most. I got. I know what these are. Oh, I know what this one is too. A white zin zinfidel milk white creamy. <laughs> let's um. I don't know what this is. You know what? This this seems like a whiskey night. Let's. let's just... Benny steps up to the bar. You look around, trying not to rubberneck your way to Dorkhood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Be cool, Mark. Be cool. We got this. We got a beer. That makes us manly. This place isn't much different than any of the bar any of the other bars near the campish. Sure, the crowd is older. Like they're like 23. <laughs> That's like ancient in gay years. Sure, there might be a few more men here and there. But they're just here to, you know, chill out, right? Like it's not even this is so nerve-wracking. I want to have sex with everyone. In the past, you've always been able to hide behind the convenient, if uncomfortable, disguise of heterosexuality. If you wanted to check someone out, you could do it. You do it. You do it discreetly. You just, you know, you wink over. You look a little bit like, oh, I'm just looking because my eyes, you know, they exist. And not have to worry about consequences. This, however, is an entirely new frontier. You sense the weight of several eyes gazing over you. You swear you're being checked out but you're too terrified to look up and confirm it. You hear somebody yell, hey, in your direction. You glance up and see a guy in the corner staring back at you. He waves. No, we're getting wave back. He's not really your type, but you wave at him anyway. 
Paul! Who's Paul? Unfortunately, you realize just then that he was waving at some guy who just walked through the door. Oh no, we shouldn't have waved! Uh, you pretend you were just covering your mouth to yawn. We got this. Has Penny ordered the drinks yet or what? All right, one celebratory drink coming up. The bartender will have it for you in a sec. I'm going to the restroom. I'll be right back. I'm a woman. I got a fucking pat on my nose and shiz. Maybe it's my chance to make a run for it. And don't you even take my attention to me, Mark! I read your mind! What are you even talking about? I don't even. Girl, you're crazy. Already, this place is like a second home. I'm like, I'm building the beds. Uh huh. You sit down and wait for your order. The bartender hands you your drink. You sip it. Nervously. Ah, something to stare at so I don't have to look up. You peer into your glass, trying not to make eye contact with anybody. You don't want to get laid tonight. Just as you start to unwind and feel like you can breathe again, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Oh, shit. Ha, piss you. Wait, whoa. Ha, you piss faster than anybody I know. Oh, God, what's what's his voice going to be? Thanks. No, no. No, God. Thanks. After years of rigorous training, somebody's finally noticed. <laughs> I'd almost given up. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm just, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, really, I just came out tonight. I'm so dumb. I thought you were somebody else, <laughs> you know. It's my fault for sneaking up on you. How about we start over? I'm Alex. Can I buy you another drink? Whatever. Let's do it. Whiskey, is it? The good stuff. <laughs> I'm a scotch man myself. I don't even know what that word is. My favorite. So, do you come here often? Actually, no, this is my first time here. It's not bad. Kind of a cool vibe. Not really. This is my first time here. I actually just came out today to my friends. No, I've never been here before because I just came out today and my friend dragged me here and she's in the bathroom right now and I don't know what she's talking. Taking us along. And isn't it funny how these things just kind of happen, isn't it? Huh? Bam! That's our answer. I can see it's a bit overwhelming for you. Understandable. I felt the same way when I came out. <laughs> in any case, that's fantastic. Let's toast the occasion. I'll always remember coming out as both the most difficult and re as the most difficult and rewarding thing I've ever done. I've done things. Aside from the one time I tried to bathe my cat while shirtless. Yeah, that was that was dumb, bro. Actually, now that I think about it, that wasn't rewarding at all, but I'm shirtless often. But I digress. Congratulations to you. The, he kind of sounds like he's now coming to like Ian's voice. What's this guy named Alex? You must be walking. You, 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 you must be walking on air right now. Right now. There it is. Wait, there it is. Yep. Yeah, I feel like my life's already about a hundred times better since this morning. This is, this is seriously like the best day ever. Alex toasts to you. To authentic life, then. Then. Your eyes linger on each other. It's just for a second, but it's enough to make your heart pound a little faster. By the way, I didn't catch your name. Name. God, I can't. I can't hit his deep voice first try. It's Mark, yo. In any in in <laughs> in any case, Mark, I can't believe I just pulled the do you come here often line on you. I mean, what? I hate to cut this short, but I have to get up early tomorrow. I mean, um maybe we can continue this chat sometime. I'd love to get your number. Um, sure, here you go. Actually, I wasn't looking to meet anybody tonight, but thanks, I'm flattered. Uh, okay, here it is, Nervous Gulp. Not a story, whatever, you were way too old for me. No, dude, keep the books open, right? Like, this is our, th like, he seems like a douchebag, but, like, he could be good in bed. We'll find out. <laughs> it was great meeting you, Mark. <laughs> we'll talk soon. <laughs> and congrats again on coming out today. <laughs> yeah, go bro. You watch him leave. This brief encounter has left you feeling flushed and heady. And needless to say, it's a nice ego boost. Wow, I took forever, did I? I was like, pee for like, ever. Were you writing a novel? Wait, whoops. Were you writing a novel in there? Dude, I was loving the restroom. 
I don't know. Her voice is getting worse. This public bathroom in Atlas is one of the best room restrooms in the city. Five stars from over a hundred users. Italian marble counters, Brazilian hardwood floors, and free breath mints. I've never been to a place with free candy in the bathroom, girl. You don't want that candy. That's gross. Damn, this place is the real deal. So anything happened while I was gone? Yeah, somebody hit on me. Wow, you don't wait a city time, do you, Mark? Point him out to me. No, he had to leave. Damn it, I can't believe I missed it. I'm so mad at myself and my super bladder. Oh. Anyway, just like one more drink. I mean, it is her last semester. Gotta get off to a good start, right? The fact that you came out today, I think it's been great so far. Back at the apartment, Penny retires to her bedroom, eager to get back to coding. Man, you sure are antsy. <laughs> you have to stop yourself from checking your messages every five minutes. After all, Alex said he was having a busy day tomorrow. Of course he's not going to call tonight. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to play games. But in the meantime, damn, you're horny. Your balls feel like they've hit DEFCON 1. You need to get off. Uh oh, God, what's gonna happen? What am I gonna have to pixelate? Later that night. As you wash up in the bathroom, oh, we, I guess we skipped it. Uh, you notice something that's rolled its way to the bottom of the sink. You pick it up a tube of lube. It's probably Ian's. Borrows lube. Oh, we haven't done it. Are you kidding? Leave it there. No, we're going to borrow his lube. This is even sexier than I thought. You pick up the tube and return it to your bedroom. And return to your bedroom. You collapse on your bed and examine the tube carefully. Trigger extreme! High end lubricant for solo and mutual pleasure. Long lasting, moisturizing, pH balance. Safe and effective. Nine out of ten customers agree. It's like the good lord returned my skin. <laughs> Oh, God. For a tasty dressing, add to salad with a splash of vinegar. <laughs> the piece on the back. Let's take this for a test drive, shall we? You squeeze some lube into your palm and you start sliding it up and down your cock. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Holy shit. A fog of lust overwhelms you. <laughs> oh, we got a message. Didn't we? Check your phone. While we're... Dude, this could be the guy. This could be the guy. We have to check our phone. You nearly fall out of bed as you seize your phone. Damn it. False alarm. Yo, Mark. Latest version of Tanny's Preacher. It's simple blue. <laughs> Would you call this a bug or a feature? <laughs> You sigh all this beta testing is starting to wear thin. Uh, tell her it's, tell her it's a feature. It sounds like a cool new feature. No way, you really think so? Reconsidering my marketing strategy. It takes my Back to work. Yeah. Oh. The loop works its velvety magic. Within seconds, you're ready to come. You're cut short as voices erupt from Penny's room. Oh, no. God, how many times have I told you to knock? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But have you seen my lube? I must have, like, lost the bottle yesterday when I got trashed. Will you stop leaving this shit in the open? I almost grabbed your sex sleeve this morning and started the game controller. Hey, relax. We're all adults here. Self-pleasure shouldn't be an act of shame. This is not about your right to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you to hide that shit. It's gross. Okay, enough said. Well? Well, what? I can't. I can't hear her voice anymore. My, my throat is, like, done. Mm. Uh, well, have you seen my lube? For God's sakes, no. And I hope I never do. It's gross. I never sex is icky. And don't forget to knock next time. God. You hear footsteps approach. Dude, you awake? I can't find my lube. You stare at the door. Dude, like you're really gonna call around for roommates. If you don't have the lube, you could. St you, you don't need lube, I'm just saying. 
You stare at the door. You stare at the bottle of lube on your mattress. You stare at the dick in your hand. Oh, God. No. We're just that kind of guy. We're returning this shit. You open the door. Sorry, man. I can't seem to find my... You hand Ian his lube. Um, no. You say nothing as you close the door. <laughs> oh my god, Monday. Oh, I think we're gonna we're just gonna pause it here. I'm gonna hit save. I'm saving the slot. And we're just gonna call it for here. My voice. My voice. It needs a break. It needs a break. Oh, now probably in the future I'll just cut it at certain points. Instead of, like, having an outro, like, I'll just cut it at one one spot or another. But for this time, we're going to just cut it here, and uh, I'm going to let my throat rest. This is really fun. Uh, we'll continue on with this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's better than APB. See you guys later. Like, you would be surprised how many of my deaths are because I take my hands off.